Remotion Transitions reduces the barrier to making something cool with Remotion significantly. Let me guide you through its capabilities. This is the skeleton of a transition series. It features two sequences which each render a letter on a background and a transition in between. Here we opted for the built-in slide transition. Here is how it looks like. We start with the letter A, go over to a slide transition and settle on the letter B. This letter component is nothing special. It is just an absolutely positioned diff with this CSS attached to it. The longer a transition, the shorter the overall video. This is because during a transition, both sequences are mounted at the same time. In this case, we have two sequences with a duration of 50 frames and a transition with a duration of 30 frames. And the overall duration is 50 plus 50 minus 30 equals 70 frames. I have now added a third sequence, the letter C. Now, this letter B here in the middle still has a duration of 50 frames, but the transitions before and after it cumulatively have a duration of 60 frames. This means that the transition will play out like this, that the next transition already begins before the previous one has ended. But this is a perfectly fine thing to do in Remotion. We can also have a transition series with a transition at the start. This will create an entrance animation. Or we can have a transition at the end, which will create an exit animation. We can even have a transition series with no transitions. In this case, it will be just a hard cut between the sequences. We can also nest transition series indefinitely. Here I have uh, a transition series with two sequences, which also uh, as a child have a transition series. And this is how it looks like. So um, both sequences have a slight animation that is horizontal. And then we animate both sequences with a vertical slide transition. We can, of course, also programmatically create many sequences at once. Here I used new array 10.fill true, and I am looping over it. And for each iteration in the loop, I am rendering a sequence as well as a transition in a React fragment to ensure that only sequences and transitions are children of the transition series. And this is how it looks like. So as you can see, we created 10 slides in a row. This slide effect that we have added to the transition is called a presentation. We can choose from another presentation preset or even create our own presentation. To see which presets are available, you can refer to the Remotion documentation and these are the effects that are currently available if you watch the video in the future. Hopefully, there are a lot more. Let's choose the flip presentation now. Each presentation has a special import path so that you don't need to import all the presentations into your bundle. And I'm now turning this into a flip transition. And as you can see, now it flips. Each presentation can also have options. Here, I can choose the direction. If I wanted, I could make this a flip on the horizontal axis. And also, I could change the perspective to decide um, how crazy the flip will be. So this here is a pretty crazy perspective, but the default in here is actually 1000 and it will be a bit more of a decent transition. We can also make custom presentations. In our documentation, there is an example on how to make 
a star shaped transition and I copied this into my project and have adapted it a bit to create a circle path using the remotion shapes and remotion paths functions. And I am applying a clip path to the exiting sequence. I can then export this and use it uh, like all the other presentations by passing it to the presentation prop. And this is how it looks like. This is of course not as easy as using a built-in transition, but these presentations can also be packed up and put up on GitHub or NPM. Besides the presentation, we can also customize the timing of a sequence. So far, I am using a linear timing, and if I wanted to, I could apply some easing to it. And that is one type of timing that we ship with the Remotions package uh, right away. The other one is spring timing. So this is a physical, uh, a physics-based type of uh, timing. Here I can, for example, pass in the damping parameter to make it look like this. And you will notice that now it is not quite clear what the duration of the transition is. This is why you can make the timing a variable. And if you want to know what the duration of it is, you can call get duration in frames on it. For this, you just need to pass in the frame rate of the video as well, so it can be correctly calculated. The spring primitive in Remotion, of course, also supports stretching a spring animation to a certain duration. For this, you can just pass in a duration and whatever the natural duration of the spring was, it will be stretched to match the duration that you give it. You can also create custom timings for which we also have a tutorial in our documentation. Here in this example, we show how to make a timing with two springs added together. The final interesting capability of our transitions package is that you can add a sound effect to your transition. For this, we don't even need a separate API. You can just copy this snippet from our documentation and then we will use the compositing capabilities of React to make a higher order component which includes the original presentation and also an audio tag. And by doing it this way, this means that we have full flexibility. We can, uh, for example, adjust the volume of the sound effect or we can add multiple sound effects, delay the sound effect. Absolutely everything is dynamic about the Remotions transitions package. This should cover everything that you need to get started with Remotion transitions. And if you want an additional reference, we have made our Remotion transitions intro video made entirely with Remotion transitions available on GitHub. So you may check that out as well.